Good morning, guys. Ooh, I just spit everywhere. So it's Monday, July 24th. And you <coughs> guys came with me yesterday and hung out with the cutest baby in the world. And now today, you guys are gonna come with me to my doctor's appointment, my friend's house for a wedding talk, all that fun jazz. Um, so right now I'm going to a doctor's appointment. I have my physical and my TV test to do. Um, I ha have a second job now. Um, it's pretty much just whenever I want to pick up hours for it. Um, cause it's an agency and they need an updated TV test and I haven't done it since I was in LNA school. So yeah. So they're sending me to this place that they have a contract with. Yeah, I have the envelope. Okay. Um, so that none of it comes out of my pocket. So thankfully it's not too far from my house. So just saying, Demi Lovato came out with a new song and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And it's called Sorry Not Sorry. And it's pretty much how like the first, after a breakup, the first time your significant other sees you and you look bomb as fuck and they like start to regret their decision and then you're like, bitch please, bye. <laughs> and I absolutely freaking love it because it reminds me of a situation back in high school. You know, me and my ex broke up and um, he broke up with me on a Friday. And you know, oh no, 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 no. He broke up with me on a Tuesday. Wednesday I was kind of sulking, but then I, that's when I found out he cheated on me. So Thursday I brought all of his shit back in a giant trash bag and gave it to him. And then... Friday, I was okay, um, but the, the night at my mom's house Saturday was supposed to be prom, I did not go, and I spent the money that was supposed to do my hair for prom, getting my hair dyed and highlighted and all that fun jazz, um, and then Sunday I spent the day at my friend's house. And, you know, I had lost a lot of weight because I was so stressed out that I just couldn't hold anything down, as weird as that might sound. Um, but sometimes just when I'm severely stressed, that's what happens. And so I had lost a lot of weight because I physically could not hold down anything. And so all my clothes were getting too big, so I borrowed my friends and I came to school Monday with new hair, new glasses, her clothes, which were a little revealing, I'm not gonna lie, looking fly as fuck and uh, yeah. And it was the same, uh, cause this happened junior year and then my first day back senior year, come to find out me and my ex were in the same math class. And, you know, I was looking fly as fuck, and he was looking like nothing. <laughs> so. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I should not sing. <laughs> At least not while I'm sick. So, my color did not last long. I need to go get my hair colored again. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. 
Cause the grass is greener under me I'm technicolor, I can tell you gonna see and it's it's such a sexy music video too like look it up i'll leave a link in the description or in the cards to the music video so you guys can see it because it's awesome absolutely awesome mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah It's raining today and it sucks. Right, not too far. I'm thinking after my appointment, depending on how long it takes, I might go home, film a get ready with me, and then I'll head over to Sammy's house. Um, I think that's my plan. Just because I wasn't able to film literally any beauty videos last week, and I have a feeling I'm not really going to be able to today, so I figured at least filming a get ready with me, it's something. Um, I was actually playing around with my eye makeup yesterday. I'll leave a picture like right here somewhere so you can see it if I still have the picture. If I still have the picture, if I don't, I apologize. But if I still have the picture, I'll put it up there so you can see it. I did like a green with gold glitter look. If you guys want to see a tutorial, I can totally do that. But if you don't, I also completely understand. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I don't really know what to talk about right now. Um, I feel like I did a lot of my talking yesterday. I need to start going back to the gym. I haven't gone in like a month or so now. And I was going three times a week. So I need to start going back. And I need to start getting back on my eating healthy kick. Because I have not been doing so good with that. So... Maybe when I get paid on Wednesday, if there's enough money, I'll grab some more veggies and stuff. Because I had them and with how crazy the month has been, I just didn't really get to touch them, so they went bad, unfortunately. Um, which sucks, because I had like a giant bag of snap peas, and if anyone knows me, snap peas are my favorite, and they're very difficult to find. I've only found them in two places, and that's Market Basket and BJ's. So, yeah. I think I might actually have um, Adam bring me over to BJ's on Wednesday so I can get my veggies there. Just because they come in a bigger pack, so it's kind of a better deal. Um, and then I can get more of my vitamin C um, vitamins now that I have to be taking vitamin C every day to help boost my immune system, which reminds me, when I get home, I need to take my vitamin C. Oh. <sighs> and then, you know, Sammy's bridal shower is coming up, and then uh, that's going to be on August 13th, and then... Our actual wedding's October 14th, so we're just rolling through it. And, you know, today we're going to be making the bouquets and the centerpieces. Hopefully we can get to both. Um, we're also going to be bringing, all the bridesmaids are also going to be bringing their dresses. 
um, because she wants to see them on us, but unfortunately, a couple of us, we can't even zip them, so she's going to have to see that part, but, you know, she wants to see them, which is fine, it's whatever. I'm actually really excited for her wedding. Like, after everything she's been through, she needs this. How's my cold sore doing? Update on the cold sore. It's pretty much gone, guys. I'm very excited by the fact that it's only been a week and it's practically gone. Like, this is the fastest a cold sore has ever left. <laughs> like, that may sound bad. But it's not like I'm lying. Um, so, since they're open, okay, I'm in the lines, I think. All right, so I'm here, and I'll be back in a little bit to update you guys. In and out within half an hour, and I have a clean bill of health, which is good. My boss will be very happy to hear that. I have to go back in on Wednesday to have my TB test read. Um, which is probably going to be fine. It was fine last time. And I haven't left the United States, so I'd be very surprised if, um, between then and now, I had contracted TB. Um, I know you can't see me. I'm sorry. Guys, seriously, do you not see me? They keep going around me and turning right. Like, do you not see me? I'm waiting here to turn left. Like, get behind me. Don't go around me. Thanks. <sighs> That's the one thing about the town that I live in that I don't like is people are not um, patient. And it makes me worry that it's going to cause an accident one day. In fact, there was one night I was driving home after work. Um, and there actually was an accident. Probably because people weren't paying attention or being patient. To be honest, I mean, I didn't witness the accident. I was driving by... Um, after the accident had already taken place, but I saw everybody, there was a woman lying on the ground, there was a body bag, it was, it was pretty bad, it was like a six or seven car pile up, it was pretty bad. So cool, that means I have enough time to film a get ready with me, and still get to Sammy's house early. So I'm excited and I can't wait to show you guys my official outfit of the day today. It's going to be super cute. I got some boots last night um, that I really like and I'm planning on wearing them today. They're a little extra, but that's okay. Um, but I plan on wearing them today and I'm super excited. <laughs> Hopefully by the time I get home, the dryer will be done since Adam did not put my bras in the dryer for whatever reason. Don't ask me why. Mm, I'm currently wearing 
wearing a sports bra, but. Sorry if I'm not talking so much. I am just trying to pay attention to the traffic because it is raining and like I said, people are impatient and I just, I don't feel like getting into an accident today. I don't know, maybe that's personal preference kind of thing, but I really don't. trying to think about what else to talk about. Oh, we were talking about the gym before I had gotten to the doctor's office. So, like I said, I hadn't been to the gym. I haven't been to the gym in like a month or so at this point. And I was going like three times a week. Um, and I just, I need to go back. Like, yes, I'm still losing weight don't really know how because I'm not exercising and I'm eating a bunch of junk right now but I'm still losing weight I was when I started my weight loss journey it was back in March I want to say I was 210 and now I'm 197.4 so that's good um that's what, 10, 11, 12, 13 pounds? That's not bad. Um, but I know I can do better. I just need to start eating better again and going to the gym again and all that fun jazz. Because my ultimate goal is to get back down to 150 maybe even lower than that I don't know I feel like if I go lower than that though I'll look um, sick I guess we'll just base it off of how base it off of whether or not I want to go lower when I get there um, guys the light is green can we go thank you um, so, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and, you know, I'll just base it off of that kind of stuff. I do want to start taking, like, classes, like, kickbox classes and stuff. And my sister's actually joined a volleyball team um, in Manchester and I know they have a basketball team so I'm thinking about maybe doing that next year because while um, they are registering for a basketball team right now uh, I just know I don't have the money right now it's cost like 50 to 80 dollars depending on the sport I can't remember how much the basketball one costs um, but I just the funds aren't in place right now and I'd rather um, wait till next year when hopefully we do have the money it just sounds like a better thing to me um, but I know there's volleyball there's basketball I want to say there's softball and baseball I know there's volleyball which is like a much faster version of volleyball um I want to be able to start hiking again. I miss hiking with my sister. <clears throat> and I just want to get back in touch with nature as well. Like, 
I never go outside. I never do anything of that sort. It's partially because, you know, Adam's very much a homebody. And especially on our days off together, or our day off together, I like spending it with him. And where he's very much a homebody and doesn't want to do anything, it makes it difficult. Um, and not that I blame him for being a homebody, you know, everybody is different and you know some people very much like to stay home while others like to go out and explore and stuff um and I'm not gonna ask him to change I just there are some days where I wish you know he would do stuff with us like yesterday for example when we went to the splash pad with Anastasia originally we were supposed to go to a lake um but unfortunately, um, you know, the lakes that we were thinking about all were having problems with their water. So that's why we ended up at the splash pad. And Adam was invited, but he didn't want to go. Uh, because he just wanted to stay home and relax. Which, I'm sorry, but going to a lake is relaxing. You're either laying out in the sun or you're in the water. It's not like you're doing strenuous work or anything. Um... But, like I said, he's very much a homebody. And I know sometimes he feels guilty about leaving the pets um, for a day or so. But he's got to remember, too, that we can't just put our lives on hold because we have pets. Um, I can understand if a pet is brand new and it's like their first week living with us or something, but... At this point, all of the pets have been there for at least a month, or going on a month, if not longer. Like, Spyro has been there longer. Um, Terry and Diaz have been there longer. Um, Jake's... Jake's still within the month. Um, Amy and Gina are still within the month. And Jesse are still within the month. But, you know, we're almost at that month point. So, in my opinion, he just shouldn't feel guilty about it anymore. They're all used to the house at this point. They're all used to living with us. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being weird. I don't know. But. <coughs> I don't know. <laughs> that, that's all I can say right now is I don't know. Um, just like I said, I wish he was willing to get out more than what he is um like originally when we were going on vacation we were when we were on vacation we were supposed to go to the beach and I was gonna vlog that but then we got um Amy and Gina so we decided not to go just because you know it would have been like their second day at the house so we just decided not to go um yeah, need to clear some memory on this so I can keep vlogging today. But, so I'm gonna go film my get ready with me. I'm gonna upload some videos and schedule them and I'll be back. All right guys, so this is my outfit of the day. I got this shirt from my sister, um, my stepsister Jess, but she got it at, um, Charlotte Russe, I believe. I would have to double check the tag. I'll put it on the screen somewhere if I'm wrong. If and only if I am wrong. Um, and then I got these leggings at Walmart. And then I got these boots, which I am absolutely in love with at Savers last night. Um, and I'll put the brand of them on the screen when I, because I need to check when I get home. Look at that though. Platform chunky heel. That's awesome. <laughs> hey guys, I'm a little further back than normal because um, 
My shoes are so tall. Oh geez. That I don't need to be as close as I normally am. I'm like trying to pay extra close attention to where my foot is <laughs> so that I'm not hitting the wrong thing. So if I seem a little distracted, that's why. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Okay. But, um... So yeah, if the car seems a little jerky, I apologize. So I'm heading to Sammy's house now. Oh, I forgot to spray my face. That's okay. Um... She lives about 30 minutes away from me. Oh, stop that. Um, so... We'll be in here for a little bit. Although it's the middle of the day, maybe I could take the highway and cut it down. I don't know. I'm not much of a uh, highway taker. The only time I've driven the highway is um really early in the morning. But I might just do it just to make this trip a little quicker. And then that way I don't have to brake as much either. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the highway. Which is scary. <laughs> I have not taken the highway in the rain yet. But, I mean, we have to have a first for everything. Um, so who knows, I may be documenting my death right now. I hope I'm not, but I might be. I wish I could see how the traffic was right now, but where it's like the middle of the day... I think I'll be okay. Cause usually it's busy in the morning cause you know, everyone's heading to work. And it's usually busy in the afternoon cause well, everyone's getting out of work. Just so you know, I may be documenting my death right now. Like I know that's not really something to joke about, really? But, yeah. <laughs> when I get to Sammy's house, I'll upload the get ready with me. That way I have more filming time. Can this light turn green, please? I'd be very much appreciated. Yay. Ugh, guys, what am I doing? I'm scared now. Oh god. Oh god. Guys. Oh god. Okay. Still fairly empty. So that's good. All right, so far so good. Taking the highway in the middle of the day. Not too bad so far. It's kind of annoying just because it's raining, so it's kind of hard to see shit. You 
know what? I'm proud of myself for doing this. Let's hope I can remember how to get there. Without fucking up. This is also the first time I'm taking the highway without the GPS. Probably not a smart thing to do. You know what? I'm doing it. Trying to be careful because I don't want a hydroplane. talking much, but I'm just talking extra. That way I'm not freaking out about what's going on. Makes sense? Makes sense to me. I be quiet for a little bit. I apologize. Trying to keep my speed up because I want to keep the flow of traffic going, but at the same time, I don't want a hydroplane. I don't want to slow people down and then causing an accident because I'm being too slow, if that makes sense. Nice blinker. You know, blinkers are nice on the highway when it's raining. Just uh, thought I'd point that out there. And of course, I'm behind an 18 wheeler that's making it very difficult to see. Doing good so far, guys. Oh my god, so many 18 wheelers. Why are there so many 18 wheelers? 
Oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm backing up, I'm backing up. So I can't remember. Okay, so this lane merges, but I'm pretty sure it merges in there too. So I'm gonna just stay right here. Why are people going 80? Dude, you're dumb. The lane merged. Again, guys, sorry if I'm not talking a lot. I'm just like kind of anxiety ridden right at this moment. The second I get off this highway, which my exit's right here, we'll be able to talk again. survived yay <laughs> and I did a mid-afternoon highway drive it wasn't too bad that makes me feel a little good about myself actually I probably wanted to be in her lane that's okay. I make it work. So what I'll do is I'll cut over that way so it's just a straight shot to her instead of having to go all the way through downtown and shit. far out of the way, Cassie. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go this way. That way it's just a straight shot to her house. Make things a little easier.
those lines are low. Um, trying to think of what to talk about, guys. So, what do you guys think of the new Naked Heat palette? I just bought it the other day. I haven't used it yet. I was going to use it today, but because of the shirt I'm wearing, I didn't want to do that just because I felt like it was going to be too much. So I went um, with a way more natural look. Um, yeah, this is where the stop sign is. Um, so I just went with a way more natural look using the um, shade and light the Kat Von D shade and light eye palette. Um, but maybe next week I'll use the Naked Heat. Let's see. I'm almost there. I'm coming from Manchester. I'm gonna let you guys go for now just because I can't think of anything to talk about and I feel like this is kind of boring just to watch me drive.